Hey guys, so the other night me and the boys were flicking through Netflix and scrolling through the thousands of things that bared no interest to us or the films we'd seen so often. But then, one thumbnail struck our immediate attention. Granted, it was quite hard not to notice when the most ruthless human being in recent history appears, but we decided to give the German film Look Who's Back a watch and holy shit, this film was like nothing I've ever seen before. The film at first seems like it's going to be a Borat or Bruno style comedy, and there are a few scenes like that, but the film actually presents itself more as an actual scripted narrative. Now look, I understand that this sort of subject is extremely touchy for people, so here's just a warning that what I will be talking about may be distressing or disturbing for you the viewer, so please proceed at your own caution. So the film takes place in 2014 when Hitler returns out of nowhere, and soon becomes friends with a young man who bears a similar semblance to Marty McFly. However, as would any normal person, they believe him to be an impersonator or a comedian, who soon utilises the means of new media to spread his message to a new audience. Now from here I'm going to get into spoilers, so if this sounds interesting, I definitely say check it out, otherwise, let's continue. This film doesn't fit a specific genre. There are too many dark moments for it to be a comedy. It doesn't have the structure of a drama. If I were to assign one to it, it would most likely be akin to a mockumentary with touches of very dark humour. But the film is an incredible commentary on a few various aspects, mainly how the utilisation of new medium has corrupted the minds of so many, and how the stain left on Germany's culture is still there. And there are many who unconsciously share extremely similar viewpoints to that of the Nazi party. It was incredibly disturbing seeing how candid and honest some of the people they spoke to were, and the very few people who had the courage to stand up and speak against a man dressed as the epitome of evil. The film looks at the ideals of white nationalism and neo-fascism as things that have re-emerged on large scales in the past few years. An obvious example being the Charlottesville rallies in 2017, and the drastic increase in the amount of far-right media consumption there is now. The film looks at how easily manipulated the public can be and how ill-equipped they are to defy what they are told through most media means. There is an incredible moment where they put Hitler on television and he pauses for a minute before talking, sucking in the audience, giving the silence, noise and weight before speaking to them. The film's writing for the character as well is incredible, as the words are those which carry a lot of weight and do an amazing job of showing how one can convey a strong message while masking the extent of their true intentions, using their speech to mask fascist beliefs and genocidal actions with glossy calls for patriotism and loyalty. The film starts out largely as a mockumentary comedy, however, soon becomes a complete dark satire, throwing many philosophical questions to the audience as well as drawing comparisons between modern times and those of 1930s Germany. The guy who played Hitler, Oliver Masucci, was incredible and was somehow able to humanise the most evil person in recent memory, before slowly warping away from a fish out of water character to a metaphor for the increased normality of far right talking points. It was scary to see how they predicted future events given that the film was made in 2015 and what could happen considering current situations but it's a film that makes you feel fearful for the future. The film has so many different layers, with Sawatsky trying to get material for his show by using Hitler, before he slowly realises that the guy might be more than a mere impressionist. The last 30 minutes gets incredibly metaphorical and challenging, showing how Hitler's rise to power can be paralleled today with the amount of airtime that other controversial figures get. There is a moral quandary that the TV station has where they need ratings, but they don't want to put Hitler on TV. And this can basically be summed up by Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Now, of course, this film is not for everyone, but I think it is an extremely important film that has some incredibly disturbing, yet relevant themes of nationalism, anti-immigration, and fascism, and is a necessary piece of art in being a voice against this movement that is attempting to return. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I just find this film so fascinating in the themes and issues it touches upon and something that hopefully won't be as relevant in the future as it is today. So please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to The Young Cynics. And until next time, bye.